Hello everyone. Welcome to this edition of You Need This Crystal. This, is this a crystal or is it not a crystal? What the heck is this? Let's see if you can get a good view of that. Okay. Let me um, end the suspense and let you know that this is called bismuth. B-I-S-M-U-T-H, bismuth. Uh, quick story, when I was first uh, attracted to crystals, and I was up in Asheville, North Carolina, at Points of Light Crystal Gallery, I said to my younger son, my youngest son, Nicholas, go pick out a crystal for yourself. And this is the one he was attracted to, believe it or not. So, bismuth, and I'm like, what the heck is that? So, I don't think it's really a crystal, but they had it in the crystal shop. I am looking online at, this is their picture of bismuth right here. If you can see, it looks very similar. Um, feelcrystals.com, they're gonna give us some information. In the meantime, I'll let you glare at it, take in its beauty or its uniqueness, I guess. Bismuth, meanings, transformation, progression, order. All chakras. The element is storm. The zodiac sign is Aquarius. And it's number two. The number is two. The two, number two is associated with it. However that means. So maybe if your birthday is a two, um, this might be something you might want to acquire. Bismuth crystal healing properties. Bismuth is believed to be an element that stimulates energy, vitality, and can help you achieve your goals, especially when working as part of a team. It may be used to support transformation by aiding travel between the physical plane and realms of astral and spirit. It is also thought to help with visualization while shamanic journeying. Lastly, it is believed to aid in relieving feelings of overwhelm, isolation, and loneliness. Okay. Wow, this makes sense why Nicholas picked this. Because we were, so he went to school in Asheville, which is just four hours away from Raleigh. And of course, I was worried. I was going to miss him terribly. But he would obviously be facing, um potential isolation, loneliness, and overwhelm being in a new environment and not with his family. So that makes sense that he was drawn to that. History and uses. Bismuth has been known since ancient times. It was often confused with tin and lead. However, it is an element in its own right. Number 83 on the periodic table in its naturally occurring form. It is an iridescent, silvery, white, crystalline, brittle metal, and it is very rare. Ooh. It is more usually a rainbow-colored crystal obtained as, by, as a byproduct of mining and refining lead, copper, tin, silver, and gold, which you see the irid iridescence more, more obviously here. Traditionally, rainbow bismuth is believed to have been used to help ease through transitions, encouraging a calm acceptance of change and increasing our energy levels to be able to adapt and transform. Similarly, moldavite is another stone, technically a tektite, which is believed to help us through transitions and especially through spiritual transformation. Learn about moldavite here. I did a video on moldavite and funny enough moldavite was a crystal that i was personally drawn to so check out the moldavite video okay geological description the largest deposits of naturally occurring bismuth are found in bolivia it is a crystalline brittle metal which resists being magnetized and is repelled by a magnetic field it also has an unusually high electrical resistance for a metal. Its thermal conductivity is lower than any metal except mercury. It has the unusual property like that like water, it expands as it freezes. 
thankfully is considered to be a stable element. Although it was actually radioactive with an extremely low rate of decay and a half-life more than a billion times the estimated age of the universe, pure bismuth is a white metal with a slight pink color. The colors displayed come from light interference in a thin oxide layer on the surface of the crystal. Affirmation, I am complete. Here are some other pictures of bismuth. So, interesting. And here's mine, which you can't see. Is, you could see better over here. Okay, anything else? It's pretty expensive. Look at these prices, at least on this website. And it makes sense that Nick would be drawn to one of the expensive ones because he's that kind of child, right? Anyway, this is bismuth, and you need this crystal.